Okay, so this video is about some potato seeds from TPS, True Potato Seed. That I had left over from last year, I saved some of my potato berries and I kept the seeds and I dried the berries out and then when spring came I rehydrated the berries and then I managed to get the seeds out there really really tiny little seeds and I got them out and I threw them into this pot thinking they're not going to sprout because from what I read online most people do this and they either don't sprout or they do sprout and they don't produce potatoes and things like that. So I wasn't very hopeful when I was saving these potato seeds, TPS, and I just threw them in this pot and I figured I'd ah, just leave it and whatever it does, it does, right? Who cares? So I threw them in this pot and I forgot about them. And lo, lo and behold, <laughs> I'm seeing this stuff come out of here and I'm thinking it's a weed and I'm getting ready to clean out the pot so I could throw the soil back into my garden. But as I was doing that, I'm like, wait a minute, this is the only pot that's got all these things coming out of it. This is the pot that I put the true potato seed in. So I realized that this is potatoes that are started from seed. And you can see them, what they look like, really young. This is what they, a potato would look like, started from seed, like, for example, this is a regular potato started from a tuber. So you can see that it's quite different in its development coming from a seed rather than something that grows from a tuber, it comes out huge, and this is very small. So you're probably not used to seeing potatoes come out from a seed. So they're growing and they're doing pretty good eventually I guess at some point I'm gonna to have to separate these somehow I would have never dumped all the seeds into one pot and sprouted them all in one shot like that knowing that they were gonna sprout I would have done things a little differently I just didn't think they were gonna sprout that's why I just threw them in there and that was the end of it but now that I see they're growing we're going to nurture these plants a little bit more and we're going to try to get these to become regular seed producing potatoes. I don't really care about the potato itself. I'm growing these specifically so I can produce the seeds. I want potatoes that produce seeds. So I can offer seeds in the future for growing your potatoes. Rather than me having to send you a tuber in the mail, I could send you seeds in the mail if you want to purchase potato seeds. Now, the exact variety of this potato, I don't remember offhand what it is. It's either an Idaho potato or it's one of those white potatoes, but it's nothing really special. So it was just a store-bought potato. I was actually surprised that the store-bought potatoes actually produce seed, but it did, and they're growing. So from what I understand, if you do get this far, and they do sprout for you and they grow, they may take a year or two of growing with the tubers to reproduce seed again. So this is going to have to go on for several generations before I can get regular seed producing potatoes. It's not like it's going to produce seed every single time, at least from what I've read. I don't know that for sure, but from what I've read, it's not guaranteed to produce seeds every time. So my goal is to grow these out and eventually get these to produce seed again if I can get seed this year that's great if not then maybe next year it'll produce seed I'm not sure but either way I will be working on getting seed for my seed potatoes so the reason why you would want to grow your potatoes from seed rather than tuber is one of the problems is when you grow potatoes from tubers or cloning the potato one of the problems that you're going to have is, is anytime this potato has a genetic in, a deformity or a genetic problem, you're transferring that genetic problem from potato to potato to potato for many, many, many generations. 
and you're never going to correct the problem. Some potatoes are prone to scabbing and they'll always scab because that is passed on genetically from potato to potato. When you grow potatoes from seeds, you, you hedge that off. In the, you hedge off any of these genetic problems that you're going to have with potatoes. And you could eventually isolate. Now, if, let's say 10 of these potatoes start scabbing. I'm not going to want to save berries from those potatoes that are scabbing. Uh, other potatoes might not do that. And they might show really healthy sign, good genetics. So I'm going to want to start saving and isolating that phenotype of that potato and start growing that out so I can get really good genetics. But when you're, when you're growing potatoes from potato, you're getting whatever problems that potato had for the last hundred generations. You're going to have that same problem over and over and over again. So it's a good idea to get your potatoes to seed if you can do that and then try to get the seeds and then try to grow them and then start new potato, a new genetic from a new potato from the seed. It's the best way to do it if you can. And there's a lot of people that are actually working on TPS right now trying to bring potato back as seed. So it's not just me doing this. I've read a lot of articles online. There's actually a couple of people out there very prominent in the true potato area that are bringing back many varieties of potatoes back to seeding. And this is this goes for garlic as well. I'm just not fooling around with garlic right now. Eventually, garlic is a little bit more difficult than potatoes because garlic is, it's actually stopped producing seed way before mankind was cultivating it on a mass level. So garlic is already going out of making seed years, years ago. But people are bringing back true garlic seed as well. But this video is about the potato, and I just wanted to show you that I do have little baby potato sprouts that I am going to cultivate and nurture, and eventually, hopefully, we can get this thing back to producing berries on a yearly and annual basis, and on a regular basis, and then that way, every time I go to start my potatoes, it's not going to be from a, another potato, it's going to be from the seeds. So that is ultimately where I'm trying to go with this, but this is a start. This is a really good start, actually. So, and I have tried to plant potato seeds in the past, one or two times, other times in the past I've had seeds, and I didn't, they didn't sprout. Maybe I picked the berries too long, too early or something. But you gotta wait for the berries basically to, to I mean, they stay green, and when a plant is completely dead, if you leave those berries on a, on, like, die in a plant and on the ground, they'll stay green all the way till spring. They don't just rot away or die. They stay green. So you got to wait until they're on the ground and they're sitting there for a while. Then you pick the berry and then you dry it out and then you get the seeds that way. That's the best way to save the seeds for a seed potato. You don't want to pick them early like a tomato or anything. Tomato, yeah, you could pick a tomato almost green and those seeds will actually grow for you. Whereas with potato, you want that berry to sit there for a while. Actually, even let it winter over if you could outdoors so it scarcifies, or no, stratifies. So it stratifies through the winter and it, it gets used to your climate and that cold weather and that process. And these potatoes will be more adapted to growing all year for you and coming up every year on a regular basis based on your climate and your frost and everything. So... Yeah, if you don't know anything about true potato seed, I'm going to leave some information down in the description below. And you can go and uh, read about it and learn about it for yourself. I will link you to my last year's video where I show images and me talking about true potato seed. So I'll link you back to that video as well. You know, give it a shot for yourself. You might like doing this. All right. And it is possible you can do it. So you can see it from what I got grown right here. I actually have potato seeds grown. So, all right, so that was just an update on this. I'll update you again once I see some more progress and we start separating them and stuff. We'll give you another update and we'll show you what's going on with the TPS. All right, take care.